Brooklyn Independent Television. It's been nearly two months since the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission greenlit the Group Vehicle Ride Pilot Program. The program was designed to help commuters along corridors where bus routes have been eliminated. The B-71 is the latest route to join the program, and Sherry Carabin jumped aboard the dollar van to find out if it's smooth sailing. Our starting point is that uh, Franklin, that's the starting point, and Eastern Parkway. The B-71 service area is among a handful that are part of the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission's Group Ride Vehicle Pilot Project. The vans cost $2 a ride and are designed to assist those living in areas where the MTA has discontinued bus routes. The first group ride vehicles hit the streets around mid-September in Queens. Brooklyn's B-23 and B-39 routes are also part of the pilot. The B-71 route starts in Crown Heights and ends in Red Hook, with Brooklyn van lines providing the service. Traditionally, van companies would operate in Caribbean neighborhoods, Caribbean and Moika neighborhoods, central Brooklyn, and in Queens. Uh, but this uh, new agreement with the city expanded our range in going to into areas that we would normally would not go. Uh, so that is a, a given, that is a good thing. I think it's a good thing for the van industry. Right now, Brooklyn Van Lines has about a half dozen drivers, manning the van seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. On this Sunday, I decided to get on board and take a tour of the route myself. It's the latest area of the borough to be serviced by group ride vehicles, but those who operate the former B-71 bus route are having a hard time getting commuters to hop on board. The numbers are in 15 to 20 range for the day, which 15 is... 15 to 20 passengers for the entire day? Right. So... With numbers like those, it's hard to make ends meet. For insurance, insurance costs almost $10,000 per year. You got to do the DLT inspection two times per year. There's a diamond there, you got to pay a TLC diamond. It's $550 for two years. Registration fee also went up. Three months ago, the, the MTA cut that route, and it took really too long. This should have been done the following day, after the last bus left that route. But um, it took so long before the city could make this agreement and make this arrangement with the van companies uh, that all of the riders went, pretty much went back to, you know, taking their own transportation or finding some other form of transporting themselves to their work and their shopping areas. TLC Commissioner David Yasky admits there are growing pains, saying, quote, the challenge is to make sure that as many people as possible are aware of the service. And to that end, we've been assisting to the extent that we can by devoting space on our website to the services, printing and distributing thousands of flyers and palm cards, making presentations at community forums and enlisting the media to help spread the word. But we do hope to see the operators become far more aggressive in their marketing and outreach efforts, end quote. Certainly some of the residents Brooklyn Review spoke to seem to be unaware of the service, but not unwilling to consider using it. So would you be likely to use them now that you know about them? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I would give it a shot. I, I mean, I really, I really don't know much about it, but uh, if it can get me where I need to go, yeah, I, I would take it. This Community Board 6 member has a different take on the issue. Well, ideally, I'd like to see the bus service return. Uh, but failing that, it would be nice if the vans were on some kind of predictable schedule. Setting a schedule is one of the things those at Brooklyn Van Lines are looking at, but it's not their only focus. Some of the things we're considering includes, you know, one dollar fare during uh, off-peak and weekend times or uh, some sort of all-you-can-ride for a period of time. Uh, mm -hmm. fares, you know, maybe three dollars you can ride for three hours or mm -hmm. something to, to get people to try the service for some of their daily needs. In the coming weeks, those who run Brooklyn Van Lines say they'll be hitting the streets Doing and there. distributing flyers to residents and local businesses, letting everyone Return. know these group ride vehicles are here to stay.
For Brooklyn Review, I'm Sherry Carabin. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.